Right then, so this is the next bid for hypothesis testing. Um, it says here that the AQA exam board seems to favour uh, a test method using standardisation. That's, that's not really true. Uh, the 2022 paper used the probability method that I've just talked about. So this is a different way of standardising and there's a third way which isn't even in this pack. But the mark schemes show all three methods. And actually the 2022 paper acknowledged the fact that the probability method was done by the most people and was the most successful. So the standardising method is the same idea, but we change, we change it into X bar and then we change it into Z, which we, we don't need to do because we've got our graphical calculators. So let's, let's see if we can follow this through then. So a company selling electrical goods claims a certain type of batteries. Also, it's exactly the same idea, but doing it with, um, with this other way of doing it. So let's have a look then. So my null alternative of real time of distribution, really I'd want to put like 5% SIG level, uh, and then T for tail, so one tail. I nearly want that in there. Right now then, what I do is I change it into the Z. So I've moved from the X to the X bar, but now I'm going to move into the Z distribution. So we've done the Z distribution for normalising. And this goes back to the olden days, before your calculator could work it out. You had to change all your probabilities and standardise it onto this specific distribution. And we use a formula which is in the formula booklet, which is z equals x minus mu over sigma over root n. Now that gives us a z value of minus 2.011. Then we would then work out the probability that z is less than minus 2.11 using this distribution. And that gives us the same p value. So you can see that this bit here, we've done it for nothing because our calculator is good enough to do it without doing this bit. And then everything else is exactly the same. We compare the test stat with the significance level and everything's done the same. So that is a little bit rubbish because the 2022 paper did the, bad, did the probability. So let's have a look at this. I will do it in both ways side by side so you can see the differences. So we sell choco milk in cartons, don't know why I'm going to line that, maybe because I fancy a choco milk. Uh, so we've got a standard deviation of 15 and the mean is 250. So let's have a look, so we know that mu is 250 and we know that sigma is 50, it was 15 wasn't it, I'm not 1.5. Lost it. Uh, yeah, 15. So Melissa suspects that the mean is higher, so I'm thinking, okay, bigger. She takes a random sample of 10, so n is 10, and finds a mean of 256, so that's in the bar. That's in the bar. Use the 5% significance level to test it. Right, so uh, what I'll do is I'll set it out, and then I'll kind of do the, the, the two different tests side by side. So the initial bit's exactly the same. So my null hypothesis is that H0 is that mu is 250. I'm looking for higher, so my alternate is H1 is that mu is greater than 250. Uh, so then I've got my significance level, so the 5% significance level. And my tail, so it's greater than, it's a one tail. Now the 5% significance level, because I'm looking at the top, it's the top 5%. So I want to see if that probability is in the top 5% being tested. Right, now then, so here's where the differences happen. So the... Oh no, hang on, hang on, it's okay. Let me write down the distribution. So X follows a normal distribution of 250, 15. And X bar follows a normal distribution of 250, 15 over, uh, was it 10? Yeah, 10. 
Right. Okay. So I'm now going to do the, the T, the test stuff. So using the probability way, I would look at the probability that X bar, oops, that an X, does that look like an X bar? Make sure it looks really nice. The probability of X bar is greater than 256. There. So I'd set my lower to be 256, I'd set my upper to be 10,000. My sigma in the calculator will be the square root of 15 over 10. My mu will be 250. And hopefully, that would give me a probability of 0.13. There, right? Now, if I do it with uh, the standardizing method, I need to change now into that x follows a normal distribution of 0, 1. So I'm going to use z equals x minus mu over sigma over root n. So my z value, so x is going to be 256, it's really x bar, minus mu is 250. Sigma, we've said was, uh, what would be the root 15 over 10. 15 over 10. So that gives me a z value of 1.256. I then look for the probability that z is greater than 1.256. So I'd set my lower as 1.256. Set my upper as 10,000. Uh, sigma is 1. Mu is 0. And it should give me the same value, the 0.1. See how fucking it is to do it? It's ridiculous, really. It's stupid. Why would you? Why would you? That's what I say. Uh, right, so let's do the C bit now. Uh, so for both of these, now it's exactly the same. My 0.103 is greater than 0.05. It's close enough. What I'm saying is, is the 256 is close enough to the 250 with a variance of 15, but it's fine. So therefore, I accept H0. Now, let's have a quick go back to this other um, conclusion that I wrote before. You see this conclusion, there is sufficient evidence of the five set set. So all we do is we just change, we just add a, a not in there. So there is not sufficient evidence when we come to do it. Oops. Right. So it's exactly the same idea. So there is not. Oh no, I got off the back of me. Get off. Hang on, the board's going off on it. Uh, so let me do a little, little undo, see if I can remove. Right then, just check, make sure I'm not online or anything daft. So there is, so the only difference now is there is not sufficient evidence or significant evidence at the 5% significance level to suggest and then I just want to kind of say what it is uh, so what were we checking that the mean is higher than the standard so that's that the mean is higher than the standard so you've got a choice of either way of doing it Put that on full page, so there is that. You've got a choice of doing either way. There's actually a third way, which does an inverse normal on the 0 0.05, the significance level. It gets a z value out or an x value out, and you test it against the 256 to see how far it is. Right, that's that one done. Well done, everybody.